I hate this stinking rotten place like a dog hates fleas. We moved here a while back so my mama could find work. She says she's trying to get us back on our feet. I guess we got off our feet when my daddy up and left us. She says we're just statistics now. It's a pretty lousy thing to be. Mama used to dress up and look so pretty. She smiled a lot too. Now she just looks tired and cries a lot when she thinks I'm sleeping. She tells me to eat a lot at school. Then maybe I won't be so hungry later. Mama says it's important for me to stay in school and learn all I can so I can have a better life than she has. School feels safe and warm. Sometimes I even feel happy there. But it's not smart to stay in one place too long. It's my third school this year. And I reckon we'll be moving on again soon. Some of the people in our tent camp are kind of strange. Mr. Charlie just walks around talking to himself all the time. He don't make no sense at all. One day, he ran right out in the street, naked as a jaybird, and the police took him away. I felt real sorry for him, but Mama said maybe he'll get some help now. Mama says some people have lots more problems than we do, but Miss Tucker, she says they're crazy as June bugs. Ms. Tucker watches out for me sometimes when Mama finds work to do. When her husband died, she couldn't make her ends meet. She gets a social security check every month, though. Sometimes I go with her to the post office to pick it up, and then we go cash it. If I'm good, she gives me a dollar. I got ten dollars saved now. Ms. Tucker calls it my nest egg. She says if her and Mr. Tucker had had a nest egg, she'd still be living in her 1950s bungalow. I don't rightly know what a bungalow is, but I reckon it's nice. Don't tell a soul about it, she tells me. Miss Tucker's been robbed five times, so I don't tell nobody about my nest egg. We've been in New York City for almost a year now. I know that because Mama says it's almost my birthday. I had my eighth birthday right before the bad letter come. All my friends was there and I got lots of presents. Mama filled up my pool in the backyard and everybody got wet. I don't think my ninth birthday is gonna be that special. Sometimes it seems like we've been here forever. Like who I used to be it's just fading away. No one even notices. When other people see us on the street, they try to look the other way. Mama says they wish we weren't there so they don't even have to think about us. She says that's how she used to feel too. After a while, we're just part of the background, sort of invisible. I don't like being invisible. One day, I'm gonna be a big star like Miley Cyrus. Then I know everybody will look at me like I'm important. But I know something else too. I ain't never gonna look at people like they're smaller than me. And I'm gonna help all the people I can. Cause they might be like me and mama. Just good people that had some bad luck and don't wanna be a statistic no more. From a distance